jeans, sitting right, keep that ass up Instagram flex, basic hoes, getting gassed up Niggas in my face, boy, buy a nigga back What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. As you already know, it's your girl, Keila Shay. We're back with another video. I became pescatarian about a month ago, and it's just been an up and down journey, but a journey worthwhile nonetheless we're gonna get into some things but before we do make sure that you like comment and subscribe and make sure your notification bell is turned on so you don't miss any of my videos okay girls so you can already tell that my face is slimming up i mean i could just see it looking at the camera now and when i take pictures now um i can see it so my weight over the years as you can tell if you've been following me for a while has just been up and down i let go of pork cold turkey in september 2017 um no more pork at all yeah don't miss it at all honestly um so i kind of slowed down on my beef intake but i would still eat it steaks and um, meat loaves and different things like that well maybe want to become pescatarian i've always been into the idea i love seafood i didn't really grow up eating it as much um i grew up with my grandfather having a, a rib place a barbecue rib place so pork was just a part of my life um it just was all around me seafood was something in my household that was considered a luxury like we didn't eat shrimp we had fish like every other friday night we would do fish nights with salads um and then the other night we would do pizza so i grew up eating fish but shrimp and crab legs and stuff like that was something i wasn't introduced to until i got older um you know grown and was able to buy my own groceries and stuff like that so uh pescatarianism was something that was kind of like it came later on in life, maybe like within the last year or two. In the past couple of years, like crab legs has just become the love of my life. And um, so that made me want to get on YouTube, get on Google and just search pescatarianism throughout the years um, and just consider it like maybe one day. Okay, so fast forward to, uh, I think it was Thanksgiving and I have it on a vlog you can see when I went into the store I think I went into Kroger and I was getting like last minute um food so I could cook I was um I think I had got like some chicken thighs and it was really good but I remember the chicken thighs had like a weird taste and it wasn't how I cooked it because I cooked the same stuff over and over and I can cook if you know me okay I don't know if the meat was old or what but I think that was the I know that was the breaking point because when I was eating the chicken thighs and how I cooked them because I know y'all wondering I um I stewed it which was like boiling it on the stove and making a stew out of it and I've done that over and over I've cooked that a million times so I know it wasn't the way I cooked it because at first when I was after I ate it I was like did I cook it right and I'm like yeah because I cook this the same way every time and it's always really really good really tender really seasoned like I you know girl your girl can cook so I remember biting into it and it was like a weird 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 taste and I remember when I was living in the shelter, there was this lady named Miss uh, Judy and she didn't eat chicken because she was like an older, a really, really, she was older. And she grew up like on a farm and like country living. She remembered the smell of like, like her and her family used to like actually bring chickens and like kill them and cook them, like, you know, real country living. And she just, she said the smell of, you know, the dead chicken, like it, she stopped. And I thought about that. It immediately came to my mind when I was eating that chicken that day. And then, <clears throat> so that really wasn't, I was like, okay, mm, it was turning me off from chicken. But that, at that point, I was just like, I'm just going to stop eating chicken, right? Like, I'll just kind of cut back on chicken or I won't get the chicken thighs. Maybe I'll just stick to some wings. But then I was, you guys know I do OnlyFans. And um, with OnlyFans and content creating, social media influences and stuff like that, you don't want to miss big holidays as far as putting content out. So I remember uh, one day I was um, taking pictures for, and I'll put it right here. I was taking pictures for my content, my Christmas content. <clears throat> and even though that those pictures, everybody was like, oh, they're so pretty and I love it. You know, guys was loving it and you know, but I felt so big and not even just like fat, but I just felt like heavy. When I take pictures, y'all, like it's a whole production. like. It's really what I do full time. <clears throat> and so when I take pictures, I do my makeup, hair, wigs, and stuff like that. Okay, boom. But it's like a three to four hour thing. Like it's it's like a shift, you know, of taking pictures. I'm moving here and there. I'm trying different poses. I'm getting up off the floor and getting down on the floor. Um, you know, having props, not props. Like it's just a lot, you know. I was taking pictures and then I was trying to go over here and take a picture and I was getting up on the ground doing poses and I was getting up, going on a walk like I felt out of breath. I literally was having to stop and take breaks 
because I was feeling so like sluggish and like big, like, you know, and I was just like, oh, uh, uh. But I pushed through it because I'm like, I have to get these pictures out. I remember not feeling my best, not feeling confident, having to pose in certain ways so that I just could look cute, in my opinion. Now, from the outside looking in, people was like, oh, this is a bad picture. I love it. And you might think so even looking at it. But now, looking back, when I look back at that picture, I'm like, I just remember how I felt. Just bump how I looked. It was really how I felt. And I was like, I got to make a change. My next my next grocery trip, I remember not even thinking about it. It was like it was just already in my mind to do it. I didn't have to like force myself. The next time I went to the grocery store, I remember going like on the vegan and plant-based aisle. And I just started, I was looking at stuff. And I would always pass by that aisle and never really pay attention to it. Never really stopped. You know, I didn't have a reason to. I was a meat eater. So, but this day, this particular day, I was just browsing around. And I looked at the aisle. I saw black bean, this uh, Chipotle black bean burger. And I just got me some buns, pepper jack cheese, mayo, stuff like that. You know, my toppings. And then the next time I went, I was getting um, salmon, 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 shrimp. Sweet potato patty, well, yam is yam. Yam patties, lots of vegetables. I always was a vegetable eater, so that that part hasn't changed um, at all. So that's just how it kind of happened. And I'll put a picture, uh, a video of two weeks of no eating meat, of, me, of no meat. This is two weeks of no meat, y'all, like literally. My body is already designed as a Coke bottle, but when I gain weight, you can't see it's you start to, I start to lose that, that physique. But when I slim down or I make certain changes in my diet, it starts to come back. I start to get the lines right here, you know, and, but the only difference is, is it's a little tougher, obviously, because I had a kid. So I have, you know, that stubborn belly fat, but it's coming off and I haven't started working out. I'm really, 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 really trying. The next month I'm focusing on no meat and no carbs or low, maybe low carbs. So the main thing is, and this is gonna shock a lot of people, I don't have a period. I didn't have one last month and I haven't had one this month. Um, and it's like, what, the 14th? So uh, I did research it because I kind of got freaked out. I'm not, this is probably TMI, but I'm not sexually active. I haven't been for quite some time now. So there's no possible way I could be pregnant. I did research it and it said something about the soy intake. Um, Cause I, I was eating the black bean burgers, but I also was eating the veggie burgers and stuff too, which contains a lot of soy. Um, and then I was eating like the um, the plant-based chicken tenders, chicken like wings and stuff like that. So they were saying that that will sometimes cause like a, a shift or a, just a, a break or just an inconsistency to your cycle. So I'll let y'all, I'll keep y'all updated on that, like as far as that goes, but I haven't had a cycle and it's all because I stopped eating meat. I don't I have been getting, these uh immunity shots and um i've been taking some shots of apple cider vinegar honey and turmeric um you can find those at walmart or really anywhere and i've been kind of getting that and that seemed to help i don't feel way down when i used to eat meat even if it was so good girl used to give me my life get you some wings and meatloaf i always felt super heavy and like i couldn't move and being a country girl from alabama that's one from normal thing to eat to your stuff. I'm so full. And now that I'm getting older and the more I'm learning and researching about our health and our bodies, especially me being an African-American woman, heart disease and all of these diseases associated to the things that we eat. Um, you know, I don't, I don't want that. I don't want to eat until I'm just, I cannot move, you know? <laughs> so that's what I've been noticing now that I've eaten a lot healthier and no meat at all. I, I eat and I'm full, but I, I could still get up and do things and get things done without feeling like uh and now i have to take a nap every meal should not feel like thanksgiving like you just ate a thanksgiving piece that's what i had to for me in my so i will say that not eating meat and just strictly eating seafood and veggies and stuff like that you do have to eat a lot more it's been kind of a struggle for me to get full well at first i post pictures here of like different meals that i've had um, and I just wouldn't feel full at first. And then I was researching, YouTube has been my best friend, but I would get on there and it was like, you have to eat, you kind of have to eat more. So I would just start adding more of those things and then I would get full. And I eat a lot more often now, like more times throughout the day, which is actually healthier and it helps in weight loss when you eat more throughout the day, healthy meals. Um, so like snacks and stuff I've been doing, is just like fruit, the granola bars, 
uh, the, it's like protein pack. Mm -hmm. My skin has improved. I'm seeing more of a glow and I think it's gonna improve even more uh, as I really get my vitamins and stuff going. But yeah, I noticed a difference immediately within like the first two weeks with my skin. Like my skin really, really clear. Another thing is fast food. Fast food was like, it's hard. It's hard to stop somewhere because I have a kid. Um, and so, you know, fast food, I try not to do too much, but maybe once a week or once, you know, I you know, I just stop because it's a Burger King right by my son's school. So I'll stop and get him a little nugget meal or something. And um now it's nothing for me to really get. I, if I do go to fast food, I just get fries and then like a large fry and then that'll be it. And then I tried the filet fish sandwich from McDonald's, but I don't like it. I, I mean, it was good, but it just, mm, I would rather make me like a salmon burger and put my own ingredients. So I still eat my crab legs, girl. That's, that's never gonna change. My goals now are just my, uh, my carb intake. But overall, I have lost, I don't know. I said I was gonna give me a scale, but I'm trying, I'm gonna do one more month, then I'm gonna start weighing myself. Cause I'm the type of person, like I'll get addicted and I'll get obsessed over the number when I weigh myself. Um, when I lived in DC, I was like 240. That was the heaviest I was. And I'm looking at myself now, I could just see my face like, it's giving me life. Like, I love how I look. So I don't want to get too small in my arms. <laughs> but I just want to feel better. That was the main thing. After I ate that chicken that day, and then after I uh, was trying to take my pictures, and I was trying to maneuver and move around, and I just felt out of breath from getting up off the floor. I was like, I'm a young girl. Like, I'm not old. I'm only 27. And for me to feel this out of breath from just getting up and getting on the floor and off the floor i was like baby this is not helping and i've had a lot more energy i can move around a lot more it gives me more energy to play with my son it gives me more like mental mentally it's helped it really honestly to be honest has helped with my depression because i'm not feeling so weighed down and obviously if you hate the way you look or you're uncomfortable with the way you look that can be a trigger for somebody who deals with depression because you start to feel ugly or not attractive and that can make you spiral into a whole nother thing on top of stress that life can bring anyway so not eating meat and becoming pescatarian has definitely helped with the mental aspect of my life as well so it's just it's an ongoing journey i just want to give you guys like an update on how everything is going yes i've lost weight yes my skin has cleared up yes i have more energy but there are still a lot of things that i have not tried food wise um a lot of things that i'm still not really like really good at which is carbs so it's just with any journey that you take in life, it's going to be up and down and you just have to kind of figure out what works best for you. And yeah, make sure that you're shopping Vicky B Merch. That is my merch company. Follow me on Instagram um, at uh, Mommy is Beat. Follow my merch Instagram at Vicky B Merch. And yeah, drop down in the comments and let me know how you feel. Would you ever go pescatarian? Are you pescatarian? Do you eat meat? I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.